it is very left-wing social justice messaging that is laced within this, right? Which is how did Jesus deal with injustice, institutional injustice? It's talking about how Jesus was fed up with politics too. And it says that they have an agenda. This is what they say their agenda is at hegetsus.com. They're about to spend $20 million on a Super Bowl ad. This is really important. They say this. How did the story of a man who taught and practiced unconditional love become associated with hatred and oppression of so many people? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You mean people lie about the king of the world? You know what I don't see on here, Allie? I don't see them saying that he's the savior of the world. Charlie Kirk is upset about the group He Gets Us running two ads about Jesus during the big game because he thinks they will falsely portray him espousing left-wing social justice messaging. As he read from their agenda page on the company's website, he notes that He Gets Us doesn't say that Jesus is the savior of the world. Let's talk about their agenda. Here's how He Gets Us describes themselves. And yes, during the big game last night, viewers around the country were indeed shown two Christianity-themed messages from them. Underneath the inclusive sounding ad campaign is a little known money machine quietly helping drive U.S. policy far to the right. The foundation that is behind the $20 million advertising campaign to promote, quote, the Jesus of radical forgiveness, compassion, and love has also bankrolled a conservative nonprofit leading efforts to roll back abortion rights and allow businesses to discriminate against LGBTQ plus customers. He Gets Us is a subsidiary of the Servant Foundation, a Kansas-based charity also known as The Signatory that says it exists to inspire and facilitate revolutionary biblical generosity. Between 2018 and 2020, the the Servant Foundation donated more than $50 million to the Alliance Defending Freedom, a nonprofit that's led big policy fights over abortion and non discrimination laws at the Supreme Court and in states around the country. The nonprofit is designated as an anti LGBTQ hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center, according to Andrew Perez of The Lover. Now, some of the money has come from billionaire David Green, who refers to himself as a devout Christian and co founder of the arts and crafts chain Hobby Lobby. Green and Hobby Lobby fought the Obama administration's contraception mandate all the way to the Supreme Court, leading to a 2014 ruling finding that closely held corporations do not have to comply with the mandate if their owners voice religious objections. Speaking of objections, he gets us was trending on Twitter this morning for all the reasons I just named and more. And a common complaint was instead of spending money on commercials, use that money to feed the poor and house the unhoused. And yeah, I definitely understand that sentiment from believers and non-believers alike. With that said, as a Christian myself, I would like to say that if this group, this company, or any church in this country truly wanted to end abortions, they could donate money to fund healthcare, comprehensive sex ed, IUDs, and birth control. You know, stuff that prevents abortions. Believe it or not, $20 million would help with that. Going back to what Charlie Kirk said about left-wing social justice Jesus, no. He Gets Us and the American church at large aren't just. Commercials and ads aren't going to bring people to the church in order to bring in money, but justice will. It's lacking. People can't see Jesus being the savior of the world if the people he saved are doing this kind of thing. By the way, Jason Vanderground, a consultant involved with He Gets Us, told Christianity News that the company's goal is to invest about a billion dollars over the next three years towards its branding campaign. So, in addition to the five commercials that were played during the NFL playoffs, you will be seeing more. This is the big game. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you haven't seen my video called Fox Host Clueless Over A&W Bear Scandal, then you can watch it after you click the link in the description below. You can find me at my YouTube channel called We Gonna Be Alright. My architect knows Japanese.